Hi everyone! I'm back to show you how to adhere your book to your chipboard cover. And I've already done the back cover here to so you can see what it looks like. So now I'm going to do it to this side. And you see here these are the if you recall the 5 8 inch mark that I made to make the accordion spine. Well instead of it adding adhesive on this side, I'm going to add a line of adhesive on this side so it's not quite as um, big as a gap there um, because it's naturally going to want to pull away from the chipboard so you don't want to adhere it all the way down to the edge um, but I don't want it quite to pull, I don't want it to pull away that far so I'm going to put a line adhesive right along that side of my line now all my adhesive is on and I made sure to use plenty of it because I don't want it peeling up. And my chipboard cover here measures because um, the pages are 6 by 6 and I want to line up one side here with my spine. So it is 6.5 by 6 and a quarter. And I already inked all my edges here. Now I'm just going to line up one edge here to the back of my book, centering it as I lay it down. And then I'm going to burnish it. So now I have this piece right here, which measures 6 inches by... I have this piece here that measures 6 by 5. And that's what's going to go in my pocket here. But what I'm going to do, because um, I, want it, I don't want there to be a gap, I want it to be a flush line all the way through here make a nice little square. Um, so that's why I cut it to six inches and it doesn't quite fit in the pocket. So what I'm going to do is line it up here um, how I'd have it laid down with my border here. And then I'm going to pull it down a little bit and make a little mark at the top of the envelope. And then do the same thing on the bottom and just make a little bit of a mark. And then from that mark going down to the part that will slide into the pocket, I'm just going to trim a little bit off so it will slide in there nicely. And you're not going to see the edges, so you don't... doesn't matter if they match going into the pocket. So that'll slide in right there and it'll line up perfectly here with the edge of our pockets. So I'm going to add an adhesive to this and then mull it here down. Alright, so now I have my adhesive on and I just put it on mostly just this top part here so it's easier to slide in and then I inked my edges. So now we'll tuck this in here.
Alright, now, now that is nicely adhered down. And so that's what it looks like on both sides. Now I'm going to cover my front cover with some patterned paper. Alright, so now I have um, my papers on my front cover and on my back cover. And this is what the album looks like. And I'll further embellish this later when I go to add my pictures. We have all these pockets. 